thanks everyone for coming around for a start. So I just want to run over a few points with um, what David found about the fact that we might have refugees landing here in Diggers Rest. Nobody here was told this may happen. You know, there could be good and bad when you look at it on both sides. It could be good for the community if it's dealt with properly, but also if it's just thrust upon us and we've got no say, it can be very bad. If they're going to do these things, why aren't the residents, particularly the Residents Association, notified? But well, there's also a lot of sympathy for the people that would, would, would come here, but we want to know who is coming. Um, age became an issue and then we started to get uh, messages that uh, these, these kids could have been up to the age of 27. My problem with the whole thing is, is our isolation. If we don't have services for ourselves, it's hard to provide services for other people. There are, look, there is lots of good things about having extra people in the community. The community is struggling size-wise as it is at the moment. Local football club, etc. Looks like it might fold because there's not enough numbers, so you might be able to get a few kids to come and play in the football club. Let's look at the services that we, we don't have. And those, uh, we have at the moment, we have a burnt out hotel. You enter the, the township here of Diggers Rest and you'll see a wrecking yard, a dilapidated general store. The whole place needs an image boost. Refugees may be able to help us with that. I can see Richard's disagreeing. I think it was last year, a young local resident here actually got his guts ripped open by a machete and it was by a group of these Sudanese and when they have machetes and knives don't want them here yeah. it's simple as that I feel sorry for them I really do because it it must be awful to have seen your whole family wiped out it must be hard for them to come over here and accept what we are. Remember when the Vietnamese were the boat people? Oh yes. Yeah, same issue, that nobody said that they would assimilate. Now look at the Vietnamese, they're the hardest working group probably in our community. I was young, living in Ascot Vale, and I remember the Italians coming out. But some of them were given housing commission houses. There was a little bit of resentment there because there were people waiting on housing commission houses and they didn't get them. And this thing is the same is applying today. There's resentment there because they're given things over the existing population, yeah. which I don't think is quite fair. People are feeling, why should these people be giving a preference rather than going through the avenues of looking at, OK, I apply, I get knocked back, I apply, I get knocked back. And, and I think that's causing a lot of this frustration with people is the fact that they're thinking, well, hang on, why should you be any different to anybody else? Um, yes, we do have our disagreements, you know, but after a, a quiet ale, everything's fine. The next day you're fine. Whereas some races, once they have an argument, that's it. You hate it for life. We are the lucky country. We want to keep it that way. Yeah. But I still, yeah. I still feel that... that the state at Spot the Aussie now. Yeah. yeah, the thing is, is that is that exclusive for the people living here or is it... For the world to enjoy, I don't know. What's the story there? Yeah.